my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a wear test on this Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. So does it work? Is it great? Do you need it? I don't know. Stay tuned. Actually, I do know, so stay tuned. I've never used a stick foundation, so this could be interesting to say the least. So I've got this Clay Tarte Stick Foundation. This is in light beige. Got a pretty packaging the tip is lovely it almost looks like a rock or the inside of a, the rings on a tree if you've ever seen a big tree cut open where you can tell how old the tree is that's kind of what that looks like it's very pretty okay here we go I'm not sure how much to put on or how little to put on I guess I just put on a lot. Maybe I should just go like that. You think anyone would notice? <laughs> oh Lord, I'm cracking myself up already. Oh man, that looks white on camera. I guess I better get my neck done a little wider. I'm just going to add some more in my red spots. On camera, this looks really, really white. In person, it doesn't look as light, so... I'm not sure why the camera makes it look like I'm fluorescent white. Well, I am for fluorescent white, but the foundation making it look even whiter. And on, instead of wetting my beauty blender with water, by the way, I use the makeup primer spray just to get that a little wet. I typically have been too lazy to get up to get my beauty blender wet so I just go in and use the makeup primer spray and it seems to work all right well I'm gonna go ahead and powder up and finish the rest of my makeup and then we'll check in and say a few hours and see how this is doing as far as the coverage goes I'm actually pretty impressed I was not expecting the stick foundation to blend as well as it did I don't know why, I guess because it's a stick, I was expecting it to be really harsh and very dry, and it's actually very creamy. So let's see how this holds up for the rest of the day. Talk to you soon. Okay, so this is an eight hour check-in on the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. How do I feel about it? I feel like a greasy mess. I, I don't like how this feels on my face. It feels greasy and it's separating the where I wore glasses you can definitely tell the indentation I just I don't know I don't like this foundation on me I have not blotted so you can see a little bit of shine coming through but I really and truthfully I can't get over how it feels let not just how it looks so it feels greasy and heavy on my face it could be because i put a lot of the foundation on to give it a full coverage look but it transfers on my phone so my phone it has a grease lick of foundation on it and i kept wiping off my phone i touched my ring on my face because you know i lean on my my hand and it made my ring nasty i just I don't know. I, I can't. Maybe this clay stick foundation will be good for me in winter, but it's not good for me in the heat right now. It just feels nasty on my face and I really would like to get it off. I'm wondering if this clay stick foundation isn't better for women with dry skin because I do have oily combo skin and it's really hot outside and humid. I just think those combination, it's just not good for me. 
but it may be good for the dry skin ladies. So if you have dry skin and you have tested this clay stick foundation from Tarte, please put your comments below. I'm dying to hear what you said. Or if you have combo or oily skin like I do, I'd really like to hear, is it just me putting on the foundation incorrectly? What could I do different? Because I want to love it, but I just can't. So anyways, I hate that, but I have to be honest. Thank you so much for watching my channel today and doing as I did the review for the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. As you know, it didn't get off to a good start by rubbing off my nose as I patted on powder. Not good, not good, but I do appreciate you all uh, staying and watching this review. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have the choice, so make it a beautiful day. Until next time.